yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. What are you awesome. doing? Well, I'm practicing blowing out candles so that I can blow them all out on my birthday. Because I hate it when someone says something about, you know, each candle left burning representing a wart. A wart? I thought every candle left burning represented a girlfriend. No, the warts aren't on me. Hmm. The warts are on my girlfriend. Elliot, have you been reading those fantasy books again? Maybe. Hmm. Well, we'll talk about that later, but right now, back to the candles. Yep. What if I said to you that I can teach you how to make something that will help you extinguish those candles on your birthday cake? Well, if doesn't really come into it, because you did just say that. So what is this face-saving device that you speak of? Ah, uh, an invisible candle extinguisher. <gasps> wow! No wonder I can't see it. This is pure genius, Ruben. Mm. You can't see it because I actually haven't made it yet. And it's not the extinguisher that's invisible, Terrible. it's the way it blows out the candles. So, what do we need to make it? Mm. We need a jug, Ooh. we need some baking soda, mm. I've already put a tablespoon or two in the jug, uh -huh. and we need some vinegar. Okay, then what? Then I ask you to light the candles, okay. uh, reminding everyone at home that if you're going to try this, please ask for permission. Or you have permission, I have permission, okay. Or get an adult helper. Yeah. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. you ready? Now, okay. pretend you've tried to blow out those two candles over there and these okay. two re remained burning. Dear Elliot, oh. happy birthday to you. <gasps> oh, and you I've still got two. But look, it's okay. We, we react to the I've ingredients. We warts. get a whole bunch there's of warts. bubbles and then watch. Shh. <gasps> no warts. That is amazing. Now I know what you mean by invisible. Quick, 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 quick. Tell me, tell me, how does it work? What's it doing? Okay, well, what's going on here is we're reacting to chemicals, baking soda and vinegar. And when you do that, you know, every kid knows you get lots of mm -hmm. fizzing. And the fizzing is actually bubbles made out of a gas. Do you remember what it is? CO2, carbon yeah, dioxide. carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so when I pour it out of this jug, the same oh. way water would pour out, this heavy gas is coming out. Candles need oxygen, not carbon dioxide, so we're starving the candles. Now, let me show okay, you again, inside. but this time, let's do it with these two little oh. candles so that no one thinks we can blow in there and be sneaky. Yeah. Um, I'll add a little bit more vinegar, see if yeah, we can get, get a little bit going, more. Get the mix going. Yeah, right. Now, this jug is filled with invisible carbon dioxide. We pour it in here. <gasps> that one's gone You've out. You've extinguished it already. And then this one. Does it from miles away? It looks like nothing's going in, but invisible gas that is going in. That is amazing, Ruben. Is this how fire distinguishers work? I'm not sure about fire distinguishers, oh. but it's defiantly similar to how a real fire extinguisher works. Thanks, Ruben. Mm. You know what I've learnt? What have you learnt, Elliot? If you don't want to cover your birthday cake in breathy spittle, use an invisible candle extinguisher. It's much more hygienic. Oh, as in wearing your jeans too high? No, 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 no. As in, hi, Jean! You want some cake? Oh, Jean! Hi! Hey, it's chocolate! Hey!